Good morning everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to all the new subscribers. I've gained a bunch lately. Thank you very much. Today, it's all about gold prospecting. We're going to hit the creek, hit some new spots, see if we can find some gold and find some nice spots to work loads of material. Get that chunky Carolina gold. Stay tuned. Hey guys, this is the first spot I stopped to check out today. A lot of spots on the list. I'm going to be bouncing around. Not a super early start, but I brought my flashlight, so we're good to go. I did first test pan up in here. Got a lot of flour, so I'm trying the deeper to see what happens. And that pan came up with some of that nice sticky clay that we love to see. So I'm going to shake this down see what happens. Here's that first pan, second pan. There's some dots and even, maybe even a speck. There it is. That's not what we're looking for. So uh, I'm gonna move on. It's a beautiful morning to go prospecting. Let's go find some of that good gold today. This is a nice little stretch of creek. It's gonna get mighty warm today. I think I'll work around here, poke around, see what I can find. Good spot to run the sluice. I saw a little groove and I scooped it out and took that pan down. It was the first pan and there was just a couple little dots in there. Doesn't enough to get me going. We got some holes around here that have been dug out good. I'll probably be poking around a little bit upstream, trying to find a groove that hasn't been worked lately. See if I can find some of that good gold. Really clear today. I went on a little fact finding mission, but I forgot my phone and my snuffer bottle. This is two pans. I just panned it down once and added more and panned it down again. That's not looking too bad. But let's see if we can find a spot where it's a little chunkier. I decided to scratch around in the center right here where there's a little bedrock sticking up and clean out those little grooves in there and everything. Yeah, it's been done before, but why not give it a go? And not a lot of dust or anything, but one. There it is. One nice piece of gold. Fantastic. It's bright out here. Hey guys, check this out. I found me a spot where the material is coming up like this. It's really good looking material. I didn't show the first pan. Let's see if the second one keeps up. We'll have a good show of gold in this one, man. All right, I got that pan down to just the heavies. We're gonna swirl this back, left-handed. You're already starting to see some gold show up, some bigger pieces, <sighs> bugs, a lot of bigger pieces, something over there, strange and rectangle. Oh, so we can. sun just right wow that is a test pan i think i just landed on the spot don't tell nobody man oh man howdy everybody that'll get you going it's making me feel better already and knowing i'm standing on a pile of that material hopefully we can turn out and have a good day this technically shouldn't be a good spot for gold there's a lot of spots around here i've tested over the past couple weeks a lot of skunks and a lot of fine deposits where you use a lot of fine gold but man oh man you just got to keep trying there's some gold hiding you there's so many skunks on this little stretch within a stone's throw it's crazy but boom i hit a little honey hole it's just one little pocket so let's hope it keeps up through the day and uh get a nice show of color and we're going to make march the best march of the year it's going to be good Oh my god, this is the next test pan, guys. What? Oh man, this is some of the best pans I've ever found out here. <laughs> this is just like a little secret slot here that 
Everybody skipped over and missed over the years. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's everywhere. Look at the size of the pieces, though. Oh, man. It's Bonanza Day. Oh, man. I got me a flashlight, so I'll just... I'm going to stay here until I clean this out. I can't leave none of it behind. Hey, checking in here. You see, I got me a bucket up. You see how dark gray, almost charcoal gray, thick clay material that is. So as I was washing the rocks, I get about 80% washed or more. Then I'd rinse them in the pan with a little bit cleaner water. And then inspect them and, and the bottom, all the little clay balls, I threw in this pan. So I got this pan to shake to see how much gold I recover in that last little bit of work. And uh, I'll see how much is in here. And then I'm going to have to do a test pan because I, that might be the end of this pocket. I'm going to have to see if it expands anyway because that's about all I can get. Strange quartz with some groove lines on it there. All right, this is this is the material that washed through on the second washing and some little clay balls that were a little harder to break down. So let's see if there's any gold in this first. Well, I've covered a little bit of gold from those clay balls. That's three or four nicer pieces, and there's a little dust in there too. All right, so I need to get it super clean and break those balls down. This next test pan turned to the reddish brown material, a lot more ironstone. We'll give it a shake. Well, just a little bit of some fine stuff there in that reddish to brown material. I'm going to have to go run this bucket and see if I can get back on that dark gray. See if I can find another pocket of it. It might be done already. That's sometimes how it is. You just find one hot pocket. You never know how deep it's going to go or what it's going to turn into. But you follow it till it runs out. Well, I guess I didn't hit record. Wet fingers and all. Well, there's a spike sluice. That's just kind of a slab. It's not a finished product. That's just a regular click sluice. I ran it because it seemed a little easier to set up. And I ran it down into the uh, that one. I didn't find any gold in that one. So that's good. But here's what I found in the top sluice. Oh, yeah. Some chunky bits. It's looking good. Let's hope I can hit another pocket of that material. Alright guys, I was working getting up a, a bucket. You can see that this isn't quite as dark. So I took a step to the right and did a test pan out of some more clay. And that is a really nice show of color and some bigger bits. So I still got more material to work. Fantastic. Be here till dark. Here's that bucket. Oh, oh, oh man, oh man, look at that. Checking in, it's later in the day. I had some lunch. Got another bucket here. Looks like a gray green color. And I went ahead and took another sample from a couple feet up. See if I can find gold there. Looks like it's petering out. We'll find out. Oh, just some finds in there. So we might have hit the end of the road. There might be one more bucket. And I'm going to clean out the bottom real good. And that's, uh, I think I've cleaned it out. Finding that next run. I'm just letting it clear out a bit. Starting to see. <laughs> Starting to see some gold show up there. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Alright, let's pull this. Oh man, oh man. Look at this run what oh my god look at that some chunky stuff oh we're getting a quarter gram today that hole's about petered out but maybe i can get one or maybe two more we'll find out ah, it's getting hard to find it that's the bottom of it that's why it's so good bottom of the hole howdy folks checking in sorry if the today's video ain't so good but you know what the fever got a hold of me and i just been focused on getting the gold there's one little v in the bedrock here but maybe a little slight half a little notch beside it and both of it was loaded with chunkiest gold i've got consistently 
in a good while so i was really focused on getting it um can't even remember how many buckets i wasn't even counting mm, four three four i think four so in a lot of pans testing here along the way i just cleaned it out can't find no more of that charcoal gray stuff so what i'm going to do i got my last bucket up here i'm going to do a test pan from somewhere else see if there's any more to keep working here and then i'm going to try to remove all the sediment from the bottom of this bedrock v that i can and uh we'll, we'll run that bucket and we'll see how much gold we get and it's going to be a pretty good looking snuff dump today i'm shooting for a quarter i mean i've seen some chunks that i normally don't see but now i'm just running my mouth and wasting your time so let's get to it and get that gold all right guys i cleaned the bottom once got some gold cleaned the bottom twice got very little gold went up looking for more deposits and it was about 15 feet away i finally found another little piece of gold but it ain't nothing like what we was finding so i guess this one's completely flogged out all right let's go run this bucket i'm just sitting here on my little stool feeding my spike strikes this creek sluice it ain't set up perfect but these things it ain't gotta be some sluices gotta be like 99 percent perfect these only gotta be about 93 95 percent perfect water's coming in a little funny I'm trying to divert it around this heavy clay material i keep water in it and keep it chopped up and mixed up to help get those break clay balls break down got the bucket set up here to help me divert the water the right way it's keeping a nice even row of rocks there if i move the bucket out of the way the water will come in from this way and blow all the rocks that way so you can still see gold just sitting in there let's see if we let it clean out if we got any gold yet here's that last run of the sluice box that that's the indicator strip that's supposed to be clean all right a little black sand and the spike there and we get all the way up to the top and we see some gold we see quite a bit of gold all right let's clean this out and see what it is oh man it looks good don't it this thing sure does catch it <laughs> all right <laughs> big smiles over here oh that was another good clean out and that was that was all the material I could find because I'm going to go looking for some more material somewhere else. If there was more there, I'd dig it. It's all gone. But I've never seen so many little silvery cubes in a pan out here. Look at them. Strange. It's a bunch of pyrite. Awesome. That looks good, huh? Can't wait for the snuffer dump. Chunky bits. getting towards the end of the day the sun's getting kind of low my back feels still pretty good so I'm gonna go do a little explore see a few spots down there and I'm gonna do a little claim jumping yeah I know what's open land here but I always see a few people digging in this one little area I've never dug there before so I might just jump in that hole and see what all the fuss is about because uh there's people that come here and they only dig in that area. So we'll find out. But I got a couple little spots in mind before we get there. So we're going to do a little hike, a little stroll, and see if we can find a little more gold.
pans here and there as they're coming down. Some with clay, some with sand. They don't really show much, but a dot or two. But this clay, this is that soft clay. It just breaks down super fast in the water. I'm looking forward to this. This might be another little spot. Let's find out. It's nice out. Yeah, there's a piece of gold. But <laughs> remember those test pans I was getting? Five of those. Five bigger than that and a whole bunch of fines. Yeah, I got spoiled back there. Yeah, that didn't last long enough in my liking. <laughs> there's not that many buckets of that material. But that's how it is out here. We find something. It's only a matter of time before it's gone. Hey, oh, it's getting later in the day. I went on a little a journey. Probably did 10 pans. The last pan was the best one. And it was about five tiny little specks. Not dots, but nice little specks. All right, not too bad. And up from there a little bit, I hit a pocket of maybe 30 finds. But I saw some tail ends and some workings where other people. I tried digging to see what they were chasing. I didn't find anything in those holes, so maybe they pan those out. But, so there's a nice little pay streak down there I found. Is it worth working in the future? I don't know, since there's really no way to sluice nearby and it have to be classified and trucked somewhere. Similar to what I've been having to do here, but that pay was definitely worth carrying a little way to the sluice box. That was just a bunch of fines, but... It is where a deposit should be by, by theory, and there was good gold there, so deeper might be better because it just keeps getting buried with the floods. So I didn't like ending on that note, so I took my little pan up to my, my little honey hole there, and I dug and dug. It took about 10, 15 minutes of messing around to get me one last pan. Found a little bit of that good gray clay, dark gray charcoal clay. So I'm about to pan that, and this will be the last pan of the day. And let's hope it has gold in it. If not, I'm going to have to figure out something else because you can't end on the skunk. But uh, today was a good day. Met a new prospector, Jason. It's uh, not often that I come out here and don't meet somebody or don't somebody don't come up telling me, Hey, Benzo, and I've never met him before, but that's kind of cool too. Met a young couple out here the other day, and they're out here trying to get the gold. I hope they do. Hope they're watching. So I don't really have much reclamation or anything to do today, so I'm just kind of riding out the light. Not a whole lot going on. So I'm going to pan this pan. Clean up my mess. Think about a snuffer dump. I was hoping I could add a, another little flake or two to it, but still can. Let's do that pan. Here's that last pan. Took me a while to get it together. Bunch of little clay balls in there. It's going to take a minute to shake this down. So here's that last pan. Just some specks. So it's true. That pocket is done. It was fun while it lasted. Let's, uh, let's see what we got today. Nice. Yeah, you can see it from there. I think I might have come up short on the quarter gram. We'll find out. Do a slow zoom here. But it might be there. I'm saying at least a point two. I'm hoping for a point two. We'll find out when I weigh it up. This is chunkier, bigger bits than I'm used to getting. So, wow. <laughs> Hey guys, here's all this gold I'm looking at. Here's that picture from the beginning of the video where you saw those chunky bits I pulled up one day. Yeah, a couple of them might be pickers. Depends on how nimble you are. And here's that day with all that gold. And here's some other days in the year. There's some good days. You had not seen these yet. That's just the month so far. And that's my year. I can't see that's the year so let's add this pile well, let's take this off this is uh got 0.15 that first day in the beginning of the video and the big day 0.4 well I got that quarter gram all right 
So let's add that together. That's all one whole. Oh, made a little mess. I clean it up. 0.56 exactly on the nose. Cool. That's the best little hole I've come across in a while. Fantastic. So here's the goal for March. I hit that goal of 0.6. I'm going to blow right past that. You saw I already have more gold that I panned out. Stay tuned next week. And I have a double feature released. One day where I go out with Les Laporte, Laporte Sr. and Les Laporte Jr. And the following day when we have a small group dig with the Lepore boys, J.P. Lonsamore, Pinger, Herb, and a, a few uh, unexpected guests show up. So until next time, get in the creek and get that gold.